Hey guys, this is Tech Racer and today I'm going to take a look at the Oxygenos Open Beta 23 for the OnePlus 5T and 25 for the OnePlus 5. So recently OnePlus released an Open Beta for the uh, OnePlus 5 and 5T which is based on Android Pie. So currently my phone is running on Oxygenos 9.0.2 which is the stable version and I have already downloaded the zip file and zip file for both the 5 and 5T will be linked in the description so you can go and download it from there. So simply download the files and copy it onto your internal storage. Uh, then simply go to system and system updates type on the gear icon local upgrade as you can see this is the update package so just tap on it and click on confirm now this will update the device so just be patient and let it update the device so as the phone has been booted as you can see so let's quickly jump into the settings go to about phone and as you can see it's open beta 23 which is based on android version 9 so let's quickly jump into the community app and see what is the change log. So as you can see we have a huge uh, or very big change log this time. So we have few system improvements such as uh, updated security patch and uh, improvements for the screen brightness. So most of the users were complaining about the screen brightness issue uh, after the 9.0.2 update. And this issue has been fixed in open beta so it will be fixed quite soon in the stable version also. Then confirm pin without tapping for app locker so previously it was available for the lock screen now it is available for app locker. Then we have the improved color adaptation for the navigation bar so whenever we now use any other apps then the color adaptation for the navigation bar and the status bar will be managed properly. Then for the gallery we have added create collection copy and move photos feature in the gallery app itself so let's quickly jump into the gallery and let's as you can see we can create an album or collection uh, as per our choice and you can also move photos and uh, videos or all the media stuffs directly from the gallery itself then we have few changes in the launcher also so added a recommended tools in the toolbox so we have updated launcher as you can see so if we go to tool then we will see a recommended tab so now it will recommend tools according to the usage then we have improved ui for category tags in app drawer so let's quickly jump to the app drawer and if you go to search app as you can see now we have the different tabs or uh, it is properly arranged this time previously it was very much scattered so now they have arranged it properly or improved it for better experience then we have few changes in phone app also so added caller history for incoming calls as well as added caller identification feature which is india specific so that's pretty good thing then we have improved ui for call history as well as google do integration now as you can see in the phone app in the call history section we can now directly place the video call through google duo if the other parties also uh, using the Google Duo app then we can just directly place a video call from the phone app itself so that's pretty good thing and the uh, caller identification feature will work uh, which is based on the database uh, it will fetch the information or the contact information according to that if we get a call from an unknown source so that's pretty good thing then we have also have few changes in the weather app so added more search option to improve the accuracy then improved weather, weather description so now we have whole new uh, weather app as you can see so now we have do have lot more options as compared to the previous one as you can see settings so now we have more customization option in the weather app also we also have a change in the oneplus switch app so now it allows data to be migrated from an iphone so if you are previously running uh, or using an iphone and you bought a oneplus device so you can switch uh, your data from the iphone to the oneplus device as well so that's pretty good thing as you can see i'm on a new phone and it gives the option of iphone so that's pretty good thing so this is it for this video guys if you found this video really helpful then do that like button and subscribe button and stay tuned for more such videos so thank you guys thanks for watching